Hello, YouTube! This is OmniDodo here, coming at you with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. Sorry, OmniDodo, aka also known as Momo. Gotta go for the similarities in all my videos. So, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, so this game is gonna sound a bit weird, but hopefully you guys will still be able to enjoy it. It's gonna be against a guy named Mufasa Fernando. He's a fairly well-known um, guy. I'm pretty sure he's a pretty well-known YouTuber, too. He always shows up people's streams, and that's kind of how people know him. So, um, without further ado, here's the game. Alright, so I've got here my um, OU team with all OUs, and, um, yeah, so that's about it. It's pretty hyper-offensive, and, you know. Alright, so, <coughs> he's going to lead off with Starmie, and I'm going to go with my Cloyster, and I was not expecting the Thunderbolt. I guess I just wasn't thinking, but he goes for the Thunderbolt. And because uh, Cloyster has really crappy special defense, that's going to take me on one shot, which is really unfortunate that I'd lose my Cloyster first turn, but hey, them's the breaks, folks. So <laughs> I'm going to go into Deoxys because I know that he can outspeed the Starmie pretty easily, and I know that he's definitely not expecting a Shadow Ball because these things normally run Bolt Beam, Psychic, and Psychic Move, and something else. Usually Superpower. And I t almost take him out with that Shadow Ball, and I get the Spideff Drop. But he goes for the Scald, and actually, Deoxys lives that pretty well. I didn't think it would do that little damage, but hey, who am I to judge? Uh, go for the Psycho Shift, or Psycho Boost, I can't even think of it. I don't know why I went for that, and I should have just gone for another Shadow Ball. I think I was expecting a Switch into Breloom, but this is actually where the Switch into Breloom comes in. And um, he's probably not expecting me to stay in, but I go for the Psycho Shift boost again, um, and I take him out, because even though I'm at minus two, it's stab super effective, and Breloom doesn't have the greatest defenses, which, it's a really good, big relief that I took out the Breloom, because it could have been either Tech Loom or the, uh, what's called, Spore Sub-Punching one, and that would be pretty nasty. I'm gonna go for the super power on the Haxorus, uh, because I'm at minus four special attack, and that's really not gonna do anything to him, uh, but the super power takes him down to a little over half. And with Life Orb Recoil, I have like 39 HP left, and then he goes for the Outrage, which sucks, because it takes out my um, Deoxys. However, it's also kind of good, because I waste one turn of his Outrage. But in the end, it doesn't end up mattering, because I bring in my Choice Bandit Scissor and go for the Choice Bandit Bullet Punch, because it's Choice Bandit, Choice Bandit, Choice Band, and it takes out a Haxorus, because Choice Bandit Scissor is awesome. He's going to send in his Verizion and go for the workup. This is a bit of a stall war. I would have sped it up if I knew how. Um, yeah. So, he's going to go for the hidden power, either fire or ice. I'm guessing it's fire, because it's uh, OU, but it could be ice, because he has HP fire on another one of his guys. So, I have no idea. Um, he's a plus one, and I am taking those hidden powers like a boss, because, uh, what's his name? I was about to say Manaphy, because Celebi is awesome. Um, I went for the Nasty Plot, so I'm at plus two, and that Giga Dragon's still not going to do too much, because I f didn't even realize Verizion has decent special defense. Um, and uh, he's going to go for, and I'm going to go for the Giga Dragon again, uh, because thankfully it's not raising his defense, but that's alright. Um, yeah, so I'm just hoping at this point to take him down to a small enough amount of HP where I can come in and revenge kill him with something in my party which I think what I have left is my Haxorus. Um, yeah. So he goes for the Hidden Power again, and takes me down. And thankfully, because I have my Scarfed Haxorus, the Godfather, I am able to do a substantial amount of damage to this Verizion, because um, Verizion's defense is actually decent, but not much can take an Outrage from a Haxorus. I mean, it's Stab, it's just beastly. Uh, here he brings in his Scarfed Mean Shell, because it gets the hidden power off, and for some reason it has hidden power ice. Um, I don't know, maybe he must have been running hidden power, I mean, it couldn't have been hidden power bug on his Verizion, who knows. Um, but I'm still going to go for the Outrage, and that's going to take him out. And because I'm Scarfed, I'm actually faster than this Gengar, so I'm going to go for the Outrage, but I hit myself in my confusion. <sighs> Goes for the Shadow Ball, and he takes out my Haxorus. But that's alright, because I can bring in Clamps, the Scizor, to Revenge Kill. And he goes for the Hidden Power. And... It's in Power Fire. I can't Revenge Kill. Nope. Not with Scizor. Should have gone for the Bullet Punch. But no. 
because now I'm risking the entire game on this. Because I knew that I could bring an Infernape and I could take a Shadow Ball. See, what I should have done was, I should have withdrawn my Haxorus because it wouldn't have been confused, and I should have just gone out to something as fodder, and then I could have brought in Haxorus again and gotten the 2-0. However, because I'm stupid and didn't think of that until afterwards, I narrowly get the 1-0. So, that is going to be good game. That was a great game, Mufasa. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry guys for the weird narration. I literally just woke up and uh, I am sick. So, it's going to be a little odd. Um, yeah, so... If you guys like the video, go ahead and click that like button, please. I'm sorry to whore out again, but really it just helps the video so much get to get noticed. Um, it helps, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, and leave a comment telling me, you know, you know what you'd like to see more of, um, how I can do my narrations better, because I want to do these for you guys, the viewers. So, uh, that's going to be all for today. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Good night, and good luck.